75%. Still going. Still going. Oh, it's oh, it's full. Okay, so yeah, you have infinite uptime now with Ultra Boost. That is a big change. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not insignificant. So now you could have... I don't think you can get a VTSG in... But l let's test this. So we'll get a regular... Um, not a vengeful to try this out. Uh, we'll go military path. Huh. <clears throat> so this change means that, yeah, you should be able to get infinite uptime for ultra boost on your VTSG, which is really good for ultra late game runs, which I personally enjoy quite a bit. Uh, we need magic. I think uh, XL Trap is probably the best. I'll drop these. I don't think this works, though, in Sandbox. I forget if it does or not. Let's see. No, it does not. But this should mean we have... So we'll send around... We'll send, like, a bunch of beds. Uh, it's going to need to have this so it doesn't die. Uh, yeah, we'll send 999 bads just to test this. Or we'll make them fortified. So now, this should get infinite uptime with if you use the Ultra Boost version. Okay, 50, 75%, 80, 90. Yeah. Full uptime, so that's big. So whether you're doing this strategy or the new somewhat popular ultra late game strategy where you do like a million shinobi buffs on a grandmaster, you want to be using your ultra bu boost, ultra bust, ultra bust, ultra boost on <laughs> on that tap. Yeah, that's that's big. I don't think. I'm curious if we can get this guy to survive this. How about we go a little that? Is it enough? Probably not. Too many bads. Come on. <laughs> it's lagging. I can I can feel the game starting to lag now. Yeah, infinite uptime. That's huge. That's very exciting. Um, oh, look at all the knockback. You can see them getting pushed back here. Anyway, uh, let me... This is painful to watch. Okay, so, yeah. Infinite uptime on all tier 5s now with Ultra Boost. Big change. Um, what else? Beast Handler? Oh, yeah. Beast Handler can no longer infinitely... For the Megalodon, let me put these guys together. We need four of them. Top path, top path, top path, top path. Merge, merge, merge this guy. Megalodon. So it used to be that it could thrash infinitely on things that were lower than bad. So you'll see now, we'll just do a level two, uh, 300 to make it go faster. You see, it'll thrash for a while and let go. It used to not let go though for things lower than it. So if you had a really high HP ZOMG, for example, like at level 300, you can see the knockback effect going in, it wouldn't let go. It would just keep thrashing the same one. So now it actually does let go, which I think is a good thing. Um, even on lower things. Well, okay, it can pull these down. 500? Do I have 500? Okay. Um, let me think of, uh, yeah, so you see it'll keep pushing the BFB back, but it does let go eventually. So that's the change there. Um, T-Rex was nerfed a bunch. I don't need to test that. 
Uh, prices were changed on the lower tiers of the bottom path beast handler. And then we have some hero changes. Oh, they're actually, ugh, I can't change hero mid. Let me, let me pull, uh, do any of these I want? I want to try Obin, so that's interesting to me. Where is Obin? Here we go. We'll just, I don't want to do town center. Give me Monkey Meadows. Okay. So Obin can now drop five totems. Um, and Obin's totems, let me just read it to make sure I don't tell you in, or no, uh, the totems spawn automatically. Yes, yeah, slows all blooms down. So how can we test this? Extremely slow bad. Now give us around 100. Fully upgrade. So right now it only looks like he's putting one. But if we put like 100. Yeah, multiple totems now. That's a big change. Um, well, they have a lifespan, um, but you can have more than one totem at a time on the, uh, on the map, even though he's not spawning them that quickly. Also, Wall of Trees, uh, Pierce increased, I think. Is Pierce the word I want? How much it can absorb? Let me see what it says. Oh, the cooldown was reduced. The cooldown was reduced. Uh, nerfs to Corvus and whatnot. Okay, so with that all out of the way, or that all tested, um, let us do... Oh yeah, it's the collection event. Let's try out the new map here. Uh, Sulphur Springs. So we will do hard... Well, actually, before I test Sulphur Springs... <laughs> Uh, what what is the the marker for apocalypse mode? I have most of these. I think it's the purple badge. No, purple badge is reverse. So apocalypse must be the green badge. Or no, the blue. Okay, okay. So it's the blue middle badge. So we will uh, test here. Let me put on my uh, sweatshirt. Posture check moment. Look, look away from screens for a bit, you know? Let your eyes take a rest, always good. Don't want to have hunchbacks by the time we're in our 30s and 40s. Okay. Drink some water. Oh, hello, JB. Thank you for the raid. Uh, we are trying out, um, we're enjoying the new update here. Hello, uh, welcome, boiling bad user, Isaac. Uh, mashy yaw, not the best time to look away from the screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess there's a, you're seeing with a little bit of a delay, but I, I do see you guys. Uh, okay, so we're going to try out Apocalypse just because it was made a little easier now. Uh, I think we'll just grab... Mm, actually, I think I'm going to take... No, Sai is probably not a good idea. Let's do uh, Adora for this. So we're trying out Apocalypse to see how much easier it is with the changes. So this is an Apocalypse I don't have yet. What? I picked Azili by accident. <laughs> Actually, we will do Psy because then I... Or no, Brickle, because I want to see Brickle's changes. So I believe that was a expert map. Uh, yeah, we'll do Flooded Valley Apocalypse. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, have a good one. I appreciate the uh, raid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I feel that with the headache. That was one of the reasons I wanted to look away. So we'll drop, uh, Brickle here. Um, and I think we're going to test, 
I don't know if I can actually get enough range. I think a crossbow would be able to reach, so we'll, we'll leave him here for now. Um, we are going to test uh, the top path boat here, I think will be fun. With all the uh, buffs now to its, uh, what is it called? To the, to the planes. I mean, those buffs are pretty significant. I'd like to try it in chimps eventually, but for now, we will just do it in Apocalypse. So, we should be getting more money. I'm not going to farm. Yeah, so we just got the end of round cash for round six. I'm trying to see if it's uh, seven should be ending after this, after these greens. Yep, 100 monkey money, I think it is. Uh, yeah, so that's a huge change. It definitely makes Apocalypse feel more like a medium mode as opposed to a very, like, one of the hardest modes in the game. Um, again, I guess I understand the complaints. Some people probably find it a little too easy now, but uh, we're also going to put it to last to utilize that monkey knowledge. But I think it's fine for it to be easier because it lets, you know, newer players... Enjoy it, and also you can always make the game harder for yourself, especially with custom challenges. I, I do understand some of the complaints from the veteran players, though. Um, it is really exciting to see this top path change for... Because uh, when they, they changed the planes to shoot grapes, and it was like a big nerf because it didn't work properly, but I'm excited to see this change. So we're going to turn this sub into a uh, just top path sub. We can see the new submerge button also. Um, I think my favorite change might be the fact that Spectre now has the Nevimus, uh, what are they called? Like actual circular things. I, I didn't even think about the fact that it loses them when you get uh, that upgrade, but that's a Honestly, a great change, so I'm excited. So we're just going to cruise here. Brickle's uh, gun, or I think it's a water gun for this skin, also has been buffed. Let me, I'm curious to read those actual buffs. I'd read them earlier. Okay, the level 6 revolver damage, level 12 revolver damage, 15, 17. So we, we might put some money into her uh, after we get the 4th tier uh, here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for the new tower, though. I definitely think it's going to be a sea monkey. They said it was a water monkey. I mean, it just makes sense. Um, it's not going to be military, though, so I'm guessing it's, uh, magic. I mean, I, I feel like they wouldn't add anything to primary, I don't, I wouldn't expect them, like, primary, I feel like, are all the original towers, or some of the oldest towers. I mean, I guess originally, you didn't have glue, you could just drop glue on the, the field. We should get ready for a, a camo soon. Yeah, so submerge and support, its price was increased, making the total price of getting that camo detection, let me, I'm on medium, so 310... Uh, 310, 440, 940, about 1700. So definitely still cheaper, of course, than getting this, but it makes it not quite as, as busted as it was, but still very good. Um, oh yeah, we have lead. No, no, we have, uh, wait, let me grab this destroyer so we stop losing lives here. I think I will get this to long range just just to use my free dart monkey. I uh, feel bad leaving him behind. Hello, Lord uh, Muo. Welcome to the stream. We're just testing out some uh, changes. So this is Apocalypse mode. Um, and I'm testing out the top path uh, monkey buccaneer here because was seriously buffed, and it seems really strong now. So we'll just save up for that now. I think we should be fine with the Destroyer. Um, 
And yeah, Brickle's first buff was level 7? No, level 6. So Brickle's revolver should be consistently dealing more damage now, which is nice. Because um, that definitely was Brickle's weakest part. You're grinding the same map on Impoppable for the collection, yeah. Um, I usually don't grind during collection events, but I generally like to get medals I haven't gotten, at least so I get the extra benefit of it. Um, so I might, I might do some chimps runs that I haven't cleared yet. I think I've cleared all easy and intermediate. No, I might have not done all chimps for intermediate. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a bunch of hard mode maps or adva like advanced expert hard mode to get more trophies. Um, okay, we almost have aircraft carrier here. But yeah, I usually don't go like crazy grinding. I don't know. I, <laughs> I actually do use instas sometimes. Sometimes for, uh, I do have a lot now, but no black borders, but sometimes for boss events, if I'm trying to just basically get the uh, trophies, <laughs> I'll just put a bunch of instas and leave. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is nice to have the, the free tier five. I'm so unlucky though. Um, okay, so we got the aircraft carrier. Uh, so we can see the, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, let me see if I can show it a little bit in an actual game here. But yeah, the front darts now have a ton of homing, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, I get very unlucky, I feel like. I think all my tier fives have been from like achievements or special events going on, like not collection events, special events. Uh, but they're definitely far and few between. <laughs> there are a lot of patch notes. At the beginning of this stream, I, uh, I read through them all. Um, some highlights, again, the specter change, which I think I will grab now. We could, I don't know if we'll get enough money by then. But specter now doesn't lose the never miss, never miss, uh, circular darts, which is exciting. Um... Definitely a Spectre can be kind of inconsistent and is so expensive. Uh, what other notable changes? I mean, Corvus got nerfed a lot. I mean, still really good. Nerfed a ton. Not unexpected. Um, they changed a lot of types because I think they wanted less tier 5s able to hit all... Um, they wanted less tier fives to be able to hit all bloom types. Yeah, so Flying Fortress Inspector, yeah.